You alright guys, it's Capcom Tom here and welcome to another episode of Where Are They Now? Today we are going to be looking at the transfer players that have come to the BPL from other leagues. It's quite interesting to have a look at some of these players and I have built this squad on both games. You can see the FIFA 13 squad on screen now. But first before we start with this video, if you want to buy some Ultimate Team Coins, go and check out futcoinemporium.com. Their link will be down in the description and they currently have a sale on so go get yourself some cheap coins. Now as you can see, the BPL players are on the screen, they've all come in from their separate leads but if you look now, you can see how they were on FIFA 12. Now obviously the FIFA 12 squad has pretty much no chemistry, players are in the wrong formations etc etc. Um, but I didn't think it was worth you know putting them all into the right positions, formations etc when they're still not going to get 99 chemistry. I have to say that I'm sorry that there is no Wilfred Boney in this, I really wanted to use him up top but he doesn't have a FIFA 12 card from the best of my knowledge. He had a FIFA 11 card and a FIFA 13 card but no FIFA 12 card and then also no Sherla, I was on FIFA 12 earlier trying to buy all the players, no Sherla's on the market so we've gone for Chadley instead. So the first player we're going to have a look at in this episode maybe shouldn't even be in the video at all, it's Roque Santa Cruz. The reason I say he shouldn't be in the video at all is he's not actually going to be playing for Man City next season, he's actually been sold to Malaga. Now he was on loan at Malaga as you can see for 2013 and he had that Malaga car, 75 rated overall. Um, he got, or he came back to Man City obviously in the interlude between him actually signing for Malaga. So that's why he's got a Man City card but he's definitely not going to be at Man City next season so don't make that mistake. And that's the only player I think that probably shouldn't be in this video but he's in it anyway because you know I wanted to try him out. You know he's got decent shooting and uh, well that's pretty much it. Decent shooting, decent heading, but other than that, he's a pretty poor player. Anyway, you know that he was a very good player back in the day. When he played for Backburn Rovers um, back in 2002-2009, he managed to score 23 goals in uh, 20, or 57 appearances, which is fantastic. Um, but ever since he moved to Man City, he's had a bit of a torrid time because he's been out on loan. He's been to Blackburn Rovers again on loan. He went to Betis, as you can see, in FIFA 12. Uh, then he was out on loan at Malaga, as I said. Now he's actually been sold to Malaga. So um, hopefully he's going to do really good out at Malaga. Um, I hope the best for him, obviously, he hasn't had that great a time at Man City. But we'll have to wait and see what happens for him in the next season. So our second striker is going to be at Man City for the following season. And it is Alvaro Negredo. So he has been at Sevilla since 2009. He's obviously transferred over, over to Man City for this season. But he has always been a fantastic goal scorer. Um, if I look through his goal scoring record, he scored 70 goals in 139 appearances for Sevilla. That's more than one goal in every two games. Uh, same again while he was at Almeria. Just slightly less. He managed to score 32 in 72 appearances. He played for the second uh, Real Madrid squad. Uh, he managed to score 22 in 65 while he was out there. From between 2005 and 2007 so a very very strong player so um, I'm thinking that's what City have brought him in for someone that they know will finish and get a lot of goals for them and uh, you can see through the years he's had an 82 rating card well since FIFA 12 FIFA 13 exactly the same he had two in forms as well so pretty good season for him at Sevilla let's see what he can do for Man City and that actually brings us on to another Man City player there's I think four Man City players in this squad just because Man City have so much money they've bought pretty much everyone it is another Spaniard and a fellow teammate of Negredo and it's Jesus Navas you can see that he has had a shit ton of informs, excuse my French. Um, on FIFA 12 he had an 84, an 87 and an 88 rated card. I used that 88 rated card and it was very good. Uh, FIFA 13 he's had obviously a severe base card. He's had his team of the season which looks absolutely unreal. An 89 rating overall for that card and also of course his Man City card but he's been moved to right wing for that Man City card despite or in fact he kept the same stats overall on his card. Now um, he's been at Sevilla forever pretty much ever since the start of his career. I mean, his youth career was at Sevilla. He played for the Sevilla B team and then obviously the Sevilla um, first team as well. Um, he had a short spell when he was quite young at a team called Los Palacios. But um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how he performs outside of Sevilla, to be honest, because he's never really played outside of Sevilla. So we'll see how he does for Man City in the following season. And that brings us on to our final Man City player, and it is Jovetic. So Jovetic, the former Fiorentina come Manchester City player, is on the screen for you now. And he was so good on FIFA 12. You actually see how good he was because... 
To be honest, the gold clips at the end of this video are going to be like a little montage to Jovetic because he's basically the only player I scored with on FIFA 12. Really, really good player, had 5 star skills, was absolutely amazing to play with. But you can see he's had a whole variety of informs, 2 on FIFA 12, he had 1 on FIFA 13 as well, and he's obviously got his Man City card now. So, um, quite a cool card to have a look at. Not the biggest, you know, goal scorer, he managed to score 35 goals in 116 appearances. Four. Fiorentina but maybe he'll do better for Manchester City we'll have to see in the season to come so moving into our midfield finally we have Leroy Fur, who's gone from FC 20 to Norwich City now he used to be a silver you can see there his silver card on FIFA 12 he even got an inform while at FC 20 was a gold very low rated non rare at um, FC 20 for 2013 but you know that's just how it goes sometimes a small bump and you know he's not an amazing looking card but his stats are actually very good I mean look at that 77 pace 73 shooting 73 passing 74 defending 73 dribbling and 82 heading so I think he could be a very good player he's quite tall as well six foot two so um, he could probably control your midfield very or control the midfield very very well for you anyway um, we'll move on to our next player and it is going to be <laughs> so we can finally move on to our midfield and it is going to start us off. So we can finally move on to our midfield and it is going to start off with Leroy Fur. Now, former FC20 player, now Norwich City player, silver on FIFA 12. You can see there his 73 rated silver card. He got an inform while he was on FIFA 12 as well. Uh, come FIFA 13 though, he's only 70 well, he's 76 rated. I mean he's gone up in ratings, which isn't bad, but he's non rare, his card's not all that spectacular, except his stats are very, very good all round. 77 pace, 73 shooting, 73 passing, 73 dribbling, 74 defending, and 82 heading plus he's very tall that's the thing I noticed while I was playing he's six foot two and he's very good at sort of controlling the midfield he can you know knob balls down pass it off um, take shots himself and tracks back just very very good player and it'll be interesting to see what he can do for Norwich City so next up is a big one and it is Paulinho for Spurs you can see that he was at Corinthians all the way through FIFA 12 and FIFA 13 only recently gaining his FIFA 13 transfer card to Spurs but uh, he had managed to have an inform this season which was a very nice card 81 rating overall he's got good pace he's got good defending good shooting good passing good dribbling and good heading so a very strong player all round actually loved his silver card on FIFA 12 it was a really really good one to play it went into everyone's for silver team because it was just awesome um, I mean look at his all round stats for silver those are absolutely incredible we'll take a look at Chadley now another recently transferred Spurs player and as you can see the Belgian international who's been capped 14 times former FC Twente player has now moved to Spurs as I said um, looks like he's going to be a decent player nothing to stand out about him we'll have to wait and see what actually happens for him at Spurs has he been brought in as a replacement for Gareth Bell that's yet to be seen he'll have very big boots to fill if he is trying to play that sort of like left mid left wing position that Gareth Bell was in before but um, we're going to have to wait and see what happens on that front. But you can see his FIFA 12 card, quite a nice looking card. FIFA 13 had an inform, that's quite a cool card as well. But um, overall, I think that he's got half decent stats. It's just really his pace that lets him down. As a winger, you're really looking for someone quite quick. But he has got four star skill moves on the upside, so that's pretty good. And yeah, it's going to be exciting to see what he can do. So moving on to our defense, we have two players that we've actually looked at before, so I'm not going to spend too much time looking at them. First off, Diakite, pretty good player. Well, we're a very good player actually. He's very big, very strong, quite quick as well. Good defending stats, good heading stats. FIFA 12, he was a silver. This year he's a uh, you know gold, and he plays for Sunderland now, so that's pretty cool from Lazio. The other being um, our other transfer player that we've looked at before, Amir B Amor. Vieta. He's actually had a nationality change, that's why he was in one of the previous videos. There was a nationality change video that looked at players that have changed nationalities between FIFA 12 and FIFA 13. Um, you can see that he's gone from Spanish to Venezuelan. Um, he's not particularly quick, but uh, hopefully that's not going to hold him too, you know, hold him back too much while he plays for Fulham. Uh, was at Atletico Bilbao before that, which is pretty cool. And our final centre back is going to be Lovren. Now, Lovren was at Olympic Lyon, he's Croatian, and uh, he did pretty well on FIFA 13. He managed to grab himself an inform during his season at Lyon now playing for Southampton so best of luck to him while he's at Southampton um, he has his FIFA 12 card as well which I think was probably slightly better than his FIFA 13 card which is pretty cool and then our final player our goalkeeper is Ste 
Stekellenberg, and I absolutely love Stekellenberg, um, if I'm saying his name correctly, I don't know, um, because he was my favourite goalkeeper on FIFA 12, um, or one of my, my favourite Serie A base card on FIFA 12, the favourite goalkeeper anyway, very, very good card, 85 rated overall, dropped off a hell of a lot when he went to Roma, but now he's at Fulham, best of luck to him there, and that is the end of the video guys, so I hope you have enjoyed it, obviously if you could drop the video like that would be really appreciated, put any comments down in the comments section of ideas you have for future where are they now episodes, give me full FIFA 12 squads that I can then build up on FIFA 13 as well, I'll play them all out, um, if you want to stick around for the clips that would be absolutely amazing, there's FIFA 12 and FIFA 13 clips all mashed together. FIFA 12 clips were slightly more impressive, I have to say. But, um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you all next time. time to take this poison for your mind.